morning, everyone. I was uh, at work uh, last night, and I was uh, thinking about you guys and what we we're going to possibly do next. And uh, I come to a, uh, to realize that I, I may have done you guys wrong. And I, I don't like that at all. I don't like that feeling. I don't like that I may have, uh, uh, well, I, I broke a promise to you guys. Well, kind of a promise, but maybe not. I don't know. I said I was going to do something, and I didn't do it. And I, and I I didn't, I not only did it once, but I did it twice. And I don't like it, and I'm going to try to make it up to you right now. What I said I was going to do is I was going to tell you guys at the end of the videos some army stories. Well, obviously, I did, I, two times in a row, I didn't do it. I said I wasn't going to do it, and I didn't do it, and I don't like it. So, I'm going to make it up to you. This video, I'm going to tell you two stories to make up for the two that I I didn't tell you. Um, if you recall, I, I went on uh, uh, Facebook, and... Uh, I gave you guys a choice of three different stories, and you guys picked one, and so that left two. And what I'll do is I'll tell those two stories that, that didn't get picked. So, um, back when I was in the military in the 80s, uh, when I was in Germany, um, we had what what is what we called, anyway, a real-world mission, meaning back in them times, that was during the Cold War. Um, Germany was divided and then, you know, the east side, the, the Soviets controlled that side, west side, the United States and, and our allies controlled that side. Um, they also controlled, the, the Soviets also controlled Czechoslovakia, which is right next to Germany. So what we did um, we, we patrolled the, those borders. We patrolled the east and west border of Germany and the west and West Germany and Czechoslovakian border. We patrolled that. You've, you've heard or maybe even read in the, the history books that there was a wall and fences and all that stuff. That was true. That, uh, um, that was true to a point. There were certain parts of the, of the border that didn't have anything. The only thing that marked it, you know, this is that side and this is our side, was there were there were posts, there were stones, there were various other little um, markers that that indicated that's their side, this is our side. Anyway, during those patrols, there there was a spot along the patrol area where. They could not, the, the patrol could not radio back to the command center. And the command center, we we had to check in every so often to make sure that, you know, nothing happened to us while we were out patrolling the border. So, in order to relay their check-ins, a spot was chosen. I don't know who chose the spot. Somebody did. It was high up. And we called that radio relay. That was a team of three three individuals. There was uh, a sergeant and then two lower enlisted that put up a big old antenna. And as the patrol was was uh, doing their patrol, they would check in to the radio relay guys. The radio relay guy guys would call back to the command center and say, "Okay, you know they said this. They checked in." So. I was one of the, the lower enlisted guys, and then there was another guy, lower enlisted. Um, he was the driver of the Humvee that we were on, and then we had a sergeant um, with us. I, I'm not going to say their names because I don't have permission to tell their story, or this story, with their names. So I'm, I'm not going to say their names. But anyway, we, we were all friends. We all got along. And pretty much it was a, it was a boring job, meaning we just sat there. We sat there and waited for them to call us, and then we called called command center. Very boring. To put it on put on top of this, it was it was at night that we were there. 
Um, and uh, the <laughs> the one guy, the lower enlisted guy, the driver, um, he was telling a story about how at another time, another team was at, at the radio relay site, radio relay site and he, they, they had some stranger walk up on him. They had no idea who this guy was, and it scared the bejeebies out of him because they didn't even see him coming. All of a sudden, there was like a knock on the door, and he was there, and they were like, ooh. So it was no big deal. They weren't in trouble. They weren't in any danger, nothing like that. It was just I don't even remember why that person walked up on him. Anyway, so I'm sitting behind the driver, and then the, the sergeant was in the passenger front seat. And uh, the, the driver told the story. And after a while, we were just sitting there chilling and telling more stories and whatever. I reached over behind the driver or beside the driver. And I tapped on his, his driver's door window. I did boom, boom, boom. Three times. That dude, I swear he almost landed in the sergeant's lap. He jumped so so hard. I scared the bejeebies right out of him. So, um, yeah, that 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 was the one of the stories. Um, it, it was very funny. I don't know if that guy remembers it. I don't know if the sergeant remembers it. I haven't talked to him about this in ever since then. But uh, yeah, it was. That dude, he, he even got kind of mad at me a little bit, I think, because I scared the bejeebies right out of him. So, but when we weren't patrolling, when we weren't doing the radio relay or any of the other duties that we had, there was downtime. And when we, when we went to the border, the border camp, we were there for a month. Um... Certain teams would go do the patrols and then others do other things and what have you. So during downtime, the, the barracks that we were in, it were it was just like a a lot of little rooms put together and uh, there wasn't a lot to do. I mean we were stuck at this border camp for one whole month. You couldn't you couldn't drink, you couldn't um, there really wasn't a lot of games or anything to do. Um, so some of the guys would bring a TV, a small little TV, um, like maybe a 13 inch or, or something like that. It wasn't a huge TV and then a VCR. Um, and, uh, one or more people would bring a whole bunch of, of, uh, movies and, uh, we'd just sit in, in a big group and just watch these movies. Well, one of the guys, he decides he's going to go take a shower. And he takes his uh, his shower kit. I'm trying to see. Like if this was his shower kit, he, he carried it always like this. The opening was here and he'd carry it like this. And uh, <laughs> I don't know who came up with the idea. But one of the guys came up with the idea that we should go get his um, wall locker key out of his shower kit because that's where he always put it while he was taking a shower. Go get his, his key. And I, I, I make this noise and I scare people every so often. I'll sneak up behind him or whatever and I'll go <laughs> like a, a growl. Well, <laughs> they thought, and it was, a, it was a double swinging wall locker door. They thought, We'll go get that key while he's in the shower. He goes, Bun, you're going to get in his locker. We're going to lock you in there. And when he comes out and he opens up the locker, you're going to make that noise and scare the bejeebies out of him. And they, somebody went and go grabbed his key, opened it up. I got in. And uh, I swear for about four or five minutes, we were all laughing, knowing what was going to happen. That we were going to scare the crap right out of this guy. So, after we, we composed ourselves, and so I said, oh, he's coming. So, everybody was hush-hush, watching the movie. And, uh, sure enough, he came out, undid his locker, 
but he only opened half the door, or one door, not the door that I was behind. So as soon as he did that, as soon as he opened up the other door, I did that noise. And he took that shower kit, which was in his hand like this, and he, pow, he just popped me right in the face and in the mouth, busted my lip open, <laughs> and we, we all laughed. We all laughed, and that guy was like, I scared him, obviously, but it, it, was, it was so funny to, <laughs> to have this guy be startled like that. It was, we all laughed so hard. I can't tell you how long we laughed over that. And I think we even talked about that for, for days on end. So, so anyway, those are my two stories. Um, I thought they were pretty funny. Those guys thought it was funny. So I hope you guys got a little bit of entertainment from them. So, um, just to let you know, um, we are planning on doing some things, um, uh, to, to video um, we have some uh, some ideas and we actually do have one plan for this weekend I'm not going to tell you what that is but it is a sure thing we're going to do it unless some drastic happens we're going to do it and we'll take you guys along so but I also want to take this time and I want to say that I appreciate every every bit of you guys that, that subscribed and watched this thing um, every time I post them. Um, I really do super, super appreciate it. Um, I, I, I'm getting the knack of, of making these videos, doing the, the editing. Um, I hope they're not too long. I know some of them are, some of them aren't. This one's not going to be very long. But uh, I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate it. Um, I, I find this fun to do, so I want you guys to uh, share if you want to share. Um, I, I, I'd appreciate it if you did. Um, for those that are just seeing this for the first time, um, please, down below, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Um, like the videos. Give it a thumbs up. And ring the bell or click on the bell. That, that gives you guys all... Um, uh, it notifies you that a new video has been put out. So you will see it as soon as it comes out. You don't have to, you know, come across it accidentally. So anyway, I hope you guys have, uh, like the stories. Um, I got some more that are, that are, I'm thinking of, and I got ideas of, of sharing. So in the meantime, I'm going to let you guys go. I got to get a little bite to eat and uh, I got to go to bed. I, you know, most of you guys know uh, I work third shift, so I haven't been to bed yet. So I want you guys to stay alert, stay safe, to just pray, and I'll see you later. They're saying the second round is, is coming. Yeah.